welcome to another edition of Resources for Life TV at resourcesforlife.com. My name is Greg Johnson, and this is another video in the series of videos about the iPhone 4. This video is being recorded on the iPhone 4 in high definition, and based on previous tests, you may have seen the previous videos, which I'll try to link to um, from this one, but based on previous tests, what seemed to be the case is that when you upload video from an iPhone 3GS or possibly uploading video from the iPhone 4, what you get is, uh, and I ref I'm referring to uploading to YouTube, what you get is something much less than um, the potential quality of the phone. So the phone itself is capable of really high quality video as hopefully this video will demonstrate. Um, but it's the upload process that deteriorates the quality of the video. So one way of getting around that is to transfer the video from the phone to your computer before uploading it to YouTube. And another way to get around that would be to create videos that are of a dimension less than the maximum size of high definition that the phone is capable of. So what this will do is create a video on YouTube that maybe it's not going to look real crisp if you go full screen, you know, on a 24 inch display, you're probably going to lose some quality when you go that large, that large of dimensions. But for the average viewing, if you're just going to look at a uh, smaller window, a smaller uh, viewing window for the video, for that kind of setting, um, the quality should be exceptional because what YouTube is going to do is it will take that smaller, you know, the video of smaller dimensions and size and it will have less compression to do so it can deliver better quality at smaller, uh, smaller sizes. Anyway, and uh, that's what this video is going to be an example of. I'm going to go ahead and edit this up a little bit probably using the um, iMovie in the iPhone 4 and then when I export that edited video from iMovie in the iPhone 4 I'm going to choose some different sizes and upload those and compare them and I'm going to add this to a web page on the resourcesforlife.com website where I have other samples of uploaded videos so you can kind of compare and, and get an idea of what settings you should be using so anyway right now I think I'm just going to uh, cut the video and maybe grab some what's called b-rolls, a little bit of additional maybe photos or video to include in this video. It'll be my first um, edited video on the phone. Usually I just try to uh, do these videos in one take, they're not scripted, it's all improv, impromptu, uh, and try to get an idea of you know what I'm going to say ahead of time, but basically I'm just rambling on a certain topic. So um, it will be interesting to go ahead and try out the uh, the editing capabilities of iMovie in the iPhone 4. So, anyway, thanks for viewing, and I look forward to hearing your feedback and ideas soon. Take care.